Hi everyone, this is Saar from Boltport. After I solder a header onto a board, I often find out that I soldered it on the wrong side of the board and I need to remove it cleanly because I only have two or three uh, of, these, of these boards and I can't just sacrifice them. So I came up with this technique uh, over the many times that I've done this um, that lets me desolder the header in a way that I don't damage the board and using very simple uh, tools without a, a working uh, a rework station the only thing that you might not have uh, is a solder wick that uh, is required here the idea is that I sacrifice the header in order to keep the board intact without damage so the header is going to go and you'll need an, a, another one to solder on the other side of the board. So let's see how it's done. The first thing to do is to cut the solder points and the, the, the bits of the pins that are sticking out uh, as close as possible to the boards. So you just clip them like that. Now, uh, the thing to, to observe here is that these pins are actually individual uh, individual pins and they're only held together by this bit of, um, it's not plastic, um, can't remember exactly what the material is. Um, so if you're able to remove that, then they are just on their own. So one way to do this is to clip the pins the pins themselves close to where they hit this this holder and now use i use uh, tweezers to just lift them up like that sometimes it'll break well I'll just leave it like that and we'll do these four pins so now these four pins are are loose they're not they're not tied to one another and um, they're it's easier they're easier to remove so what I do is I heat up the pad from the other side and I use a pointy tip so I can just take it out and it falls off so I continue doing that You'll sometimes need to give it a little flick or use um, tweezers or um, pliers to do that and that was a hot one. It's probably better to do it with a vise. I have it I have a vise here but it's not very convenient for filming. So, here we are having these four pins removed and uh, the other thing to watch out for is not lifting the, uh, the pad um, that the pin was soldered to and that, that's a bit tricky although if you're going to put the, the header again on the other side you might be able to mask that and it's not um, if it's just a th aesthetic then it's going to be okay but you still need a pad on one one side so then the other thing the next thing to do is to take away the excess solder that is on here on the pad and um, you might want to have a better 
um, a thicker, wider, shorter wick just can that can wick out greater quantities of solder. You also want to watch out the solder gets the the wick gets very hot so you want to watch out that you're not damaging other components and you do it the other side The idea here is to get all the solder out so you can actually put another pin in, another the other header. So this looks about right. Um, you have those those three holes. Uh, you can see you can see it. Um, you can see through them, and the pin would uh, would fit in. If it doesn't, you need to to get some other some some of the excess solder out. And uh, you see, there's there's very little damage to the board. Uh, I wasn't so gentle with it. There's a little bit, but if you again, if you're soldering uh, a header on this side, then um, then that's not going to show. You really want to keep this side um, uh, without marks. Now, uh, this is just a board I found at our local make space. It's not it's not a, an example of where I made a mistake. Uh, because you see here the uh, the header won't fit anyway but uh, that's that's about it it I hope it's useful to you and take care bye bye